I love just the way the hair handles like 90 degree weather. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys a long overdue one week update on this wig that I received from True Indian Hair. But before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask if you're new to my channel. Welcome. If you're a returning supporter, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your family, and also support me on Instagram if you're not already doing so. So I may also cut in different clips that I took while I was actually wearing the hair in the video. Not sure if I'm going to include that in here yet. So after me uploading that video where I did my initial impressions, they correct me letting me know that the hair density is actually 150% density if you guys recall in that video I was like this doesn't feel like 130 so it's definitely a lot fuller um I never thought that 150 density would work for me but it actually works especially when it comes to curly hair typically when I'm thinking curly hair I'm thinking like you know you need a lot of volume you want it to look full but that wasn't the case with this wig I'm gonna put a picture up here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about like for a 150 density it looks really full but the reason this video is gonna be in two parts because I straightened it out because I like versatility and part of me Picking this particular wig is that I wanted to be able to do it in like a body wave. Now I did straighten it out. I did one pass with my flat iron. Um, I didn't actually get it at 385 degrees because it this flat iron is funky. Sometimes it changes temperature on its own so it went to 380. So I just went through the whole thing at 380 degrees. Um, I used my brush to chase it and then when I was all done with the whole one pass, um, I went through at the ends and just put my tension brush and just ran it through one time at the ends just so that it can be a little bit smoother. Um, but I'm actually about to curl it because that was the intended style for this wig is aside from the actual curls I wanted to be able to do like a body wave curl because you guys know body wave is my texture but I wanted to come on here so you guys can see just what the hair looks like so if you decided to go with a curly wig you can still straighten it out like it still moves like it still has body like I put this hair through a lot and like it looks good now I did do a very bare dusting at the end now I didn't take off any more uh, for one well one reason yeah I can't remember the one but one reason I, I can't remember if it's only one reason I should say but one reason why I did like a bare dusting is because typically when you're dealing with curly hair um, if you cut it while it's in its curly state then obviously it'll fall the way you want it to fall but if you cut curly hair while it's straight when you curl it back up it may fall different and in order for that not to happen because I love the way the wig falls um, when it's curled I decided just to do a very bare dusting at the end um, but look at this wig guys like this is 22 inches like this 22 inches is like almost at my belly button and you guys know I am a tall girl I am 5'11 one thing that I like that they did very well is it's true to length so some hair companies when they sell you something they're like oh yeah you know it's 22 inches and they measure the 22 inches from here go down which is not how it's supposed to be um if it's 22 inches then the wig should be 22 inches all the way around and as you guys can see it's 22 inches from the top it's 22 inches from the bottom um so i really appreciate that so i wanted to come back to you guys and show you guys the finished curls now i don't know if you guys recall in the video where i colored this hair i'm gonna link it down below um where i showed you my inspiration this is a, obviously the style that i was going for because you guys know i love a body wave so i'm gonna try to put a picture up here so you guys can see that style but I absolutely love it. I'll come back to you guys, like I said, in a few days once I've worn it a little bit longer and finish the rest of this one week update. So stay tuned here yet. But uh, a few things I want to go over. Obviously, the hair color is no longer a natural 1B. Um, I have curled it. I flat ironed it, which you'll probably end up seeing. And I did also curl it. Now, the first time that I curled it, I curled it with a regular curling iron. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab the curling iron so I can show it to you guys. Just a regular not expensive curl nine you guys know how I do um 
And every time I curled it, it just wasn't staying. I'm like, yo, what's going on? I know I did a lot to the hair, but it should still hold a curl because the hair is naturally curly. So I kept trying. And then eventually, I was like, why don't you curl it with your flat iron? Curl it with my flat iron, much better results. So clearly, um, the irons that you use to curl your hair, they do make a difference. So maybe I'll, you know, invest in getting some better curling irons. But... Um, I've actually had this hair curled now for two days. So you guys know I'm Trini and it's 90 degrees outside and I actually had my windows winded down when I was driving and it actually held up pretty well. It has some, a little bit of texture in here, but if I didn't tell you this hair was naturally as curly as it is, I'm going to try to include a picture up here so you guys can see. Um, you wouldn't know. You would think this is probably just a regular body weave because it just straightened that well and for it to hold up as well as it did in the heat and humidity, I'm really impressed with that, especially all that it's been through. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention, as a quick correction, um, I did put it in the description in the initial unboxing video, which I'm going to link down below, so if you guys want to check that out, you can. Um, I mentioned, because that's what they told me, that it was 130% density, but it's actually 150% density. Um, if you guys recall in that video, I was like, this doesn't feel like 130% density, it just feels so much thicker. Um, and you guys can see, like... I'll be honest with you, I never thought that 150% density would work for me, um, but I really do like it. Like, I feel like it's natural, it's light, it's the right amount of hair for the wig for the length. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention, um, and this is something that you would get with any high-end hair company, and when I say high-end, um, I don't even know if you guys are aware, this hair company has been around for over 10 years, because obviously I mentioned to you guys that I've purchased hair from them over 10 years ago, and it was some of the best hair I've ever purchased, because it lasted 10 years. Um, but they are actually a hair company that a lot of celebrities go to, like, uh, I, know I know Rihanna has used hair from them, um, I believe Marlo Hampton has used hair from them, I definitely know little Kim use hair from them so a lot of celebrities go to them because they they are one of the best hair companies now the other thing that I like about this wig is that the lace um, so initially when I put it on typically whenever I put on a wig um, I always have to do something to blend the lace you guys probably heard me mention like I use red fabric dye on lace to tint it so it can match my complexion I didn't have to do that to this wig and I end up reaching out to them you know and asking them like what shade is the lace and I think it's like a medium brown or light brown. I'm gonna put the right information up here, but I was pleasantly surprised that I put it on. I didn't have to do anything to it. Now, what I did go in and do, I'm gonna try to get up close. I put some concealer on the part because you guys know, anytime I got good hair or a wig, I don't like to pluck or tweeze because it's, it's gonna come out anyway. I don't wanna help it along the way by having hairs come out. So, all I did was put a little bit of concealer in the part just so that the part was defined so you can see it, but at the same time, like not have it look like unnatural if you know what I mean so I think that that's enough you guys can comment down below let me know what you think about it um now the other thing that I did like about this wig and I typically I do frontal wigs because I'm always looking for versatility um I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that it's as versatile as it is for a closure wig so I'm gonna lift it up here so you guys can see now I don't have this glued down you already know um, I did glue it down in the very beginning when it was still black, but once I dyed it, I, I just didn't glue it down anymore. Um, well, not yet anyway. But if I glued this down, do you guys see how, like, it looks like it's going to come out of my, like, very nice natural hairline. Already has, like, baby hairs. You guys know I don't do baby hairs, but these are some of the hairs that are already set aside for you to be able to do baby hairs. I did, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I did cut some hairs just, like, right here at the side for, like, I don't, I don't know what they're called. Oh, temple baby hairs, maybe. That's that's what we're going to call it. But, um, so I do, I do actually like the way the cap lays. Um, now typically, again, if you guys have been on my channel, I'm assuming that everyone who's here has been on my channel. Um, with my wigs, you guys will see in the background, I usually always have an elastic band. This wig does not have an elastic band, and it is the very first time with a wig, um, even though it's a closure wig, because typically I put them on my closure wigs as well, where I did not put an elastic band and I don't feel as though I need one. Now I'm going to take the wig off, don't judge my braids, and show you guys the cap construction so you guys can see some of the things that I like.
So as I mentioned in the initial unboxing video, it has like these two combs to the side. Um, I did go ahead and add one in the middle. Now I didn't need it, but just for me and my peace of mind, I always like to have a comb here. So the hair that I had from them, um, I made a wig out of it and I ended up putting a comb in the middle. Um, typically when you're moving throughout the day, when you're using a wig that's glueless, for me, um, I feel as though it shifts. So I always put a comb in the middle so that it doesn't just like slide back because these help, but having a comb in the middle, in my opinion, Opinion makes a little bit of a difference so I went ahead and I added that in um, I like the fact that this comb in the back is wider now typically even myself like whenever I make a wig um, or I have a wig the combs are small and I've just always been used to it I would have never thought to put a wider comb in the back it makes a huge difference on the comfort level in addition to that I feel it makes a difference on how secure the wig itself actually feels if that makes any sense now one thing that I went ahead and added in the wig I don't know if you guys saw the unboxing video I'm not even sure if I mentioned in that video where the wig is a medium and I typically just always thought that my head was a medium but I think in some cases it may be a small now this is a stretch cap um, and just because of the way the wig was actually Actually sitting the sides right here was kind of sitting instead of sitting flat it was sitting a little up I don't know if you guys saw it when I like lifted the hair up earlier in the video if you have to rewind it rewind it um, if not I'll try to put it back on my head and remember to, to turn to the side so you guys can see but I took like this little mini elastic band I have a drawer full of crafts I just had a little extra elastic band and I stitched the side here to the back just to kind of pull it so that it can pull it a little tight here and just have it lay down so the elastic band actually just sits like right here maybe it's about like two inches um and i thought that that helped the wig to actually sit down a little bit better and look a little bit more natural um but without it it was kind of like flapping up now again that could be related to the fact that this wig is too big for my head um pretty much i mean it's very comfortable and like i said it's the first wig that's a wig in general whether it be a frontal wig or a closure wig where i felt as though i did not need an elastic band like normally by now your girl would have sewed on an elastic band the same time i sewed on um this comb in the middle so um i really 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 like that okay so i'm gonna try to show you guys what i was talking about a little bit earlier in the video so when i was lifting it up you see like how it's like kind of like turning and that's because i'm pulling it up but if I just leave it and I just lift the hairs by itself, it lays flat. So putting that piece of elastic band here um, actually helped it to lay flat rather than like flapping up. So um, that would be, I think, like the only thing that I didn't really like about the wig um, is that that piece just didn't lay flat because of the way it was constructed. Now, one other thing I did also want to get into is the amount of shedding that I received. So... I received more shedding than I'm used to from their hair, but not a lot by any standard. Um, so I got about 20 strands, which if you guys have watched a video where I colored this wig, I'm going to link it down below just in case you haven't. Um, I've done a lot of manipulation to this wig, um, and for it to only shed 20 strands is really, really good. So I say it's a lot more than I'm used to, but at the same time, it's not a lot by any means because I've had worse. I'm not going to say remove, but I've had worse. So I am... I'm really just having a great experience. I'm really looking forward to wearing this. This is definitely going to be one of my staple wigs. You guys have heard me mention that on my channel where I have like wigs that are like my go-to. The other reason that this is probably going to be one of my main go-tos is because of the cap construction. Again, um, it has that glueless cap construction, which I really, really like because if you guys have seen me, you know, get ready on my channel or get dressed, I always tell you guys I'm always running late and typically it's the hair or the makeup that keeps me back it's never me actually getting ready so i love 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 the fact that this is glueless i love the cap construction overall um i love just the way the hair handles like 90 degree weather two days two days later after me curling it and i've been wearing it i've also laid down on the wig i was tempted to work out in the wig but i was like no i'm not gonna do that because i just don't work out in wigs in general but I am having a great experience with this hair. So I can't wait to come back to you guys with my one month update. Now when I do that one month update, we will find out if the curls reverted back. You gotta stay tuned for that. But that wraps this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.